What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another draw preview, and we have the Leon Open this week. Another clay court event before the French Open. We've got some big names playing in this one, but some players have also withdrawn, so let's go to the withdrawal list. So a few big names have pulled out of this one. We have Berrettini. He's out. Shardy, Evans, Fritz, Milman, and Lorenzo Sonigo is also out of this tournament. Starting at the top of the draw, we have eight seeds in this one. Top four seeds get a buy in the first round. Dominic Team comes in as a wild card as the number one seed as well, gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on the winner of Mute or Nori in the second round. Then we have Ramos Vinoles versus a qualifier. Winner of that match Match plays one of the best first round matches in this tournament. Karatsev versus the number six seed Sinner. Circle that one as one to watch. Then we have the number three seed Schwartzman. He gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on the winner of Gasquet versus a qualifier. Then we have two qualifiers going at it in the first round. Winner of that battle will take on either the wildcard Bonzi or the number eight seed Hashinov. So some big names to watch out for. Obviously, we're going to watch out for Dominic Team. Diego Schwartzman hasn't had a great season on the clay. It has to back up a lot of points from last year's French Open semi final. But I'm also interested to see how Karatsev and Sinner do in this event. I know they're playing in the first round, but the winner of that could make it to the quarterfinals, possibly further, depending on how Dominic team does. Going to the bottom half of the draw now, we have the number seven seed, Oje Aliassime versus Musetti. Again, circle that one as one to watch. A couple of next-gen guys going at it. Winner of that match is going to play either Hebert or Korda in the second round. Then we have Bedene versus Simon. Winner of that's going to take on number four seed, David Goffin. Then we have the number five seed, Monfils. He takes on Harris in the first round. Winner of that match takes on the winner of Nishioka and Umber in the second round. Then we have Paul versus Joe Woodford Songa. Winner of that gets a take on number two seed. It's the final Sitsi pass. So like I said, this tournament is really, really big and has some big names playing in it. We've got Stefano Sitsi pass. Definitely one player to watch this week. Also interested to see how Ojali Asim does because he does have Uncle Tony, Rafa Nadal's uncle, as a coach. So interested to see how he progresses in a smaller tournament. But also keep an eye on Korda because Korda last year really announced himself on the clay courts at the French Open and has had a really good year so far. So I'm interested to see how Korda does this week. So there you have it, the Leon Open, an ATP 250 event, but it's pretty stacked. You've got team up the top, City Pass down the bottom, so some big names playing in this one. Let me know down in the comments below, who do you think is going to win this tournament? So having a look at the draw, and I think the obvious pick here is Stefano City Pass. He has had a great clay court season, only losing to the best of the best on clay. So I'm going to pick him to win this tournament, and he has a pretty good draw as well. Again, let me know down in the comments below, who are you picking to win this one? So the Leon Open is a stacked event, only two weeks out from the French Open.